when we talk about wildlife habitats in Singapore, hmm, some of you may think about rainforests. But did you know just off the coast of Singapore, there lies an underwater rainforest and it's just as rich in biodiversity. On this episode, we visit the Siren Reefs with seagrass expert Samantha. We're going to find out how the humble seagrass forms one of Singapore's most critical habitats. I'm here at Siren Reefs, one of Singapore's largest seagrass meadows. This one is seagrass. <laughs> this is seaweed. This is seagrass. So we have a lot of species of seagrasses in Singapore with 12 species and on Cyrene we can find about 7 of them. You have the flatter tape seagrass, you also have the thinner needle seagrass. One of my favourites you can see here, this is the noodle seagrass and so called because it's actually cylindrical. So do you think seagrass are also very important? Oh definitely, seagrasses are one of the most critical coastal habitats. Because you can see that they trap a lot of sediment, they are very important for coastline protection. So they prevent coastlines from being eroded away. They're also incredibly important for sequestering carbon or, or trapping carbon, which is very important in our fight against climate change. There are also species that depend on seagrass meadows exclusively, such as dugong. So dugongs are called sea cows because they exclusively eat seagrasses. Because they create such an interesting, complex habitat, they actually house a lot of diversity and a lot of juvenile species. Okay, like what kind of species can we expect to find? So here you can find sea stars, lots of uh, crabs, shrimps, and even uh, small fishes. There are many species that can be found in seagrass meadows and nowhere else. Buster, Buster! But watch your step! Hello? What? It's okay! Hello! This is a Nobby sea star, and it's quite common on Cyrene Reef, but it's very rare in other sites around Singapore. You know, all these marine organisms, they don't have passports, they don't follow our national borders. So what, even whatever small bit that we have in Singapore, it's important to know that it's connected to the larger systems uh, on a regional scale. And that's why it's so important to protect even the smaller habitats. It's, it's waving. So Singapore, we have really lost more than 40% of our seagrasses due to blank reclamation and coastal development. And it's pretty much the same case all over the world. So what are we doing to help the seagrass? Well, so I'm part of Team Seagrass and we're a citizen science monitoring group that monitors seagrasses uh, all over Singapore. And what we do is that we collect long-term information about the health of our seagrass meadows and we pass that information on to government agencies so they're able to make better informed decisions about how to conserve these critical habitats. And what's also important is that people are aware of it and when more people are aware of it, there'll be more impetus to actually protect these habitats. I feel really lucky to have this rare opportunity to visit the Siren Reefs and to learn firsthand about the importance of seagrass. I think it's inspiring that there's a group of volunteers who are dedicating their time to protect and care for this part of our lesser-known natural heritage. <laughs>